Clock Chronicles, y'all. I do not own the rights to this music. Every good gift and every perfect gift is from above. Coming Bye down with me. from the Father of Lights. Don't get it twisted, man. Ugh, yeah. It's Wayne Kresge on his neck piece. Uh, it got him feeling real hefty on his chest week. <laughs> but let's see. Let's see. having a good meal. I don't feel like there's nothing wrong with giving gifts. But what I do not agree with is how when we were little our parents told us don't talk to strangers. Okay? So we don't talk to strangers. We dang sure ain't taking no candy from strangers. How come when we was little everybody told us don't take no candy from strangers but except on one day of the year October 31st it's okay for everybody to take candy from strangers. I'll wait. I'm, I'm, I'm waiting. Right, because it doesn't make any sense. Why do all these parents think it's okay to go and take candy from strangers and let your kids eat of it? And let's just go a little further deep into it. Sam Hayen and all that kind of stuff. You know, this is a Celtic uh, holiday that was found, it was found, it started in Ireland, okay? Sam Hayen or Sam Hayen, Hayen, however they say it. How Hayen, okay? All right, and back in the day, you know, they did a lot of different practices, but they, you know, long story short, they believe that this one day, the dead can pass over. And when we're talking about the dead, we're talking about evil spirits, okay? Not good spirits. So people were afraid and they believed that if they put food on their first kind of offerings, like their first fruit offerings on their porch, that the demons, basically, that's what they are, devils, will pass by their house. You know what I'm saying? Basically, like, as a peace offering. Okay? Of course, it's, it, it, look. I, I, again, it was a duality. With the good and the bad. The heaven and hell. The devil is always trying to use something out of the Bible. And try to twist it and whatever. Try to copycat. Because he can't be original. Because he's a carbon copycat. We broke. You know what I'm saying? Rejected. He already, lo he already died. And, or not died. He already lost the war. But anyway. So, basically, um, people, you know believe that this day the dead can pass over whatever so then it went from that to okay um 
they left, you know, from Ireland and went over to England somewhere, then to America. And, and long story short, it went from that to, okay, now we're letting kids dress up um, to have a festival and then all this other crap. And so this way we're going to, you know, uh, make fun of it and have a day we can go share with the people and give candy to kids and all this other crap. You know, they found a way to basically uh, monopolize off of this whack pagan rituals and holidays okay so we in america we take we partake of it and we buy all this candy and give it to the neighbors and all this other crap i don't do that you know what i'm saying i'm gonna have um well, i'm gonna put some bible tracks in a bowl and put jesus loves you that's what you're gonna get from me you ain't gonna get nothing else you know i, I let my kids we did a, a pumpkin carving contest just for fun but the pumpkins, you know, rotted after a couple of days, so we just threw them away. But it was just for fun. You know, the whole thing about the jack-o'-lanterns and that whole thing. Again, all these stories come from, they originate from somewhere. And if you guys don't know what they are and what was the purpose behind these stories and these traditions, then you won't know why you're practicing them. You're just doing it because everybody else is doing it. Don't be like the masses. Don't follow everybody because everybody's on their way to hell. That's real talk. You don't want to believe it, but I'm here to tell you. All right? I've never been a sugar coat type of person. You don't like hearing my mouth? Don't listen. That's just real. And that's not being prideful or arrogant. That's just being real. Okay? I'm to the point now in my life, I'm too grown for games. I'm too grown for excuses. The Bible says to even abstain from the appearance of evil. So if you look like you're doing something wrong, you need to stop. Okay? We want to walk upright and we want to show the world the love of Christ, the love of God, and his being able to renew us by his Holy Spirit and us being clean, renewed creatures in Christ. The old things have passed away. Behold, I'm doing a new thing, a new thing in you. Do you not see it praying to spring forth? Do you not see it? Let go of the former things, the things of the past. We don't play around with those devils no more. We don't go kick it the places we used to. We don't smoke, drink, and pull up. We don't drop it like it's hot. We don't sleep with 20, 50, 30 different people. No, because it comes a time when you were a child, you acted as a child. But when you became a mature man or woman, you put away childish things. The Bible tells us this. Therefore, it's no more living in any kind of way in sin. It's time to way to put away childish things. That's what it is. So, do not be entangled with the works of darkness, but rather reprove them, expose them, okay? Because what does dark have in common with light? What does darkness have in common with light? Okay, it, it's nothing. Okay, an olive tree cannot produce a fig. Okay, a banana tree cannot produce apples. It produces the fruit that it bears. So if you're producing the fruit of God, the fruit of Christ, the fruits of the Spirit, then you cannot also be over here producing the fruits of the devil. You've got to be distinct and clear about who you're serving and what side you're on. Oh, well, Sister KK, you know, I like to go take my kids to church and we give out candy. Okay. So teach them again rituals of pagan practices. Why not just sit in the center of witches, even though you're not practicing what the witches are practicing, but I'm going to sit right here in their seance and their ceremonies while they light the candles and invoke devils. Do you understand how you cannot be a partaking of this? And the church has to stop conforming to the world. We're in this world, but not of this world. We can find other things to do on that day, like cast out devils, lay hands on the sick and cast out devils and raise the dead. Give them some candy. Shoot. Teach them how to cook some. Teach them how to cut up some vegetables and how to garden. These kids don't need no more candy. That's why they got rotten teeth and big old butts and stomachs and stuff because they eat too much junk food. Like, I didn't get fat until I started eating American food. That's real talk. I did not gain weight until I started eating American food. So I know the food here in America is designed to kill us. But that's another story for another time. Look, listen. Either you go out here and let your kids trick or treat. That's all you look. I'm not your dad. I'm not your mom. I'm not your God. But you need to think about what it is that God tells us that he wants us to do that's holy and acceptable to God. On Christmas, we're not, we're not talking about devils and demons. 
on Thanksgiving. We're not talking about devils and demons. Why on Halloween does the church think it's okay to dress up as demons and devils? Oh no, you can't wear demons and devils, but you can dress up as an angel or a tooth fairy. Get the heck out of here with that garbage. Then why don't you just go kick it out of Satanist church and talk to them about Jesus while they're invoking demons and casting spells on you? Do y'all realize that we're in a state of Washington where there's a large population of witches? Do you realize that? Washington and in Oregon? Do you realize that's why there's so much depression and stuff that's going on here? So much drug abuse? Because it's the spiritual principalities over the Northwest. But for most of y'all, that's a foreign language because you don't even understand spiritual things. You're still on ABCs and we're over here past Z. Look, it's time for us to come up in the body of Christ. Stop playing with these devils. Because they don't have you up here bound up, crying, crippled up somewhere, uh, back stuck in sin, asking God to forgive you. But you're going to be right back to where you started, where he delivered you from. Let this be a message from y'all. Stop going around the same day on a uh, mountain, y'all. Stop. I love you guys. Please, stop taking your kids trick-or-treating and telling me it's okay. It's not okay. They need to know the truth. Go study the origins of Halloween. Sam Hayen. Hollow Z. All Hollow Z, the hollow, what is that? The uh, hollow the head, the guy with the headless hunting, all that. All that stuff is demonic. But it's okay that we put some uh, some candy in a bag and we let kids dress up as teddy bears and troll dogs. Oh, Jesus had nothing to do with that. So let that be the reason. I love you guys. This is just a, a car chronicles for the weekend to let y'all know. Tomorrow is Halloween. You need to be somewhere praying, casting out devils in Jesus' name. And this is the Car Chronicles. Your big sister's telling you to keep it real. Or keep it pushing. And I'm out.